Welcome to Buckeye Stacker. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Got a neat unboxing for you today. This is a little out of the ordinary for a stacker. Um, because this is not really stacking material. This is something that just came across my email. And you know it's caught my eye because uh, it um it just seemed like something one of those things that's too good to be true and um, <laughs> you know but it was certified by ngc and they're such a well respected company so i took a chance on it and it is what it is plus i also bought something else well you know what enough of my talking let's just open it up you'll see what it is and if it oh yeah you know what if it, it is what it is i bought it from bullion sharks and they seem to be a pretty reputable company too so enough enough with the talk we'll just show you what it is and i was quick with i was surprised with how quickly that i got it considering that i paid with um with you know with a uh, by e-check and not and, and not with card so let me get all the pertinent let me get all the pertinent information out of here uh, there's that Here's their, their advertising. Okay. And there's the empty envelope. So, all right. First, let's go with the uh, less expensive merchandise. But this was just kind of cool because my dad was a World War II vet, and this is just kind of as a, a, a relic of the time. Of, of him being at that time but they had rolls of um, steel pennies from 1943 and I said you know what I'm just going to pick up a roll of those just to have so there you are roll of steel pennies if you haven't seen those should I unroll it? Should I unroll them? Because I mean, it's not like I can't roll them back up. You want me to unroll them? I've got rolls that I can, I mean, I've got a machine that I'm planning on, uh, you know, unboxing and reviewing here, here in, a, in a future video. Make sure I run roll them, just to make sure that's what they are and they and just put a steel penny on one side and a steel penny on it. You know what, let's do it. Let's do it. Should I, or should I trust Boy and Shark to make sure that that's what they are? It's not like this, not like this cardboard penny roll is worth anything. Yep, that looks like, looks like that's what we got. Yep, we got steel pennies. But those of you, if those of you who may be watching the video for steel, for silver content and be like, steel pennies, what the heck are steel pennies? In, 19, in the, during the, so, during the Civil War, during the World War II era, copper became such a premium being used during the war effort to make ammunition and uh, that uh, they used steel to make pennies in 1943 because copper became such a print you know, became used to make ammunition so they used steel to make pennies so yeah so there you are 50 steel pennies kind of cool so now i gotta roll these things back up yeah. but there they are i mean they're not not all pretty and stuff but some of them are nice. But, plus, I always like pennies because Abraham Lincoln is my, my favorite president. 
But anyway, let's get to uh, looking at this. This is why. This is why I bought this. This. This is actually silver. But this. If you want, wondering why this blew across, I do have a fan on. I know you're not supposed to do that while you're recording a video. But hey, it is hot here in the Ohio Valley. So, please forgive me. This is a an ancient coin. From the time of Aziz. I'm assuming that's his name. And he was a ruler from in the time of AC, BC, 58 BC, or or after AC, 58 BC. And this is this was certified by NGC to be authentic. But. Uh, This was a. Uh, this has got a picture of Hercules on one side, and a picture of the king Aces on the other, who is supposed to be the king, the ruler of the of the at the time when. when Christ was supposedly born and who would have sent the three wise men to looking for Jesus and would have been you know, who sent the wise men with the gold and the frankincense and the myrrh and this is supposed to be his King's likeness on his horse. And then on the other side is Hercules. Let me see if I can get that to focus. There's that Hercules, whichever way it goes. But yeah, Let's see if I can get this. Little, we'll see which way it goes here. But nonetheless, since I bought this, it, it, the coin has gone up in price by ten or fifteen dollars. And I just. Uh, I just thought it was too neat to, know, to pass up. And the coin is called a drachm. If I'm if I'm mispronouncing that, I I apologize. But uh, I'm not. But there is the coin. And I'm not a, not a numismatic any means, but I am interested in biblical history and this one just kind of I could pass it up for the price so yeah so steel pennies and an ancient coin from a silver stacker I don't know what to tell you Stay tuned, and I'll catch you on the flip side.